It is really crowded in this Piney Assassin guy's house, so let's give them something bigger. So now instead of GoPro we have new camera. Last video turned out to be really good. It did drop and hunt the focus a few times, but overall the quality is really sweet. And also the microphone seems like it is working now as it should. So the problem was my mobile phone. Either the app that I was using for recording or the mobile phone in general got bad sound card or whatever does cause the sound to be bad. Now we got this microphone connected to new portable recording device and we will see how it will perform in this setup. Now, Spiny Assassin guys need new home. I'm using the standard terrestrial enclosure, just like the ones that I used for my girls. These are 30 by 25 by 25 or 12 by 10 by 10 inches. And this enclosure will have the background. Now I will be covering this styrofoam with black silicone and then I have this let me just turn on this camera I have this mixture of pit moss and some other things I'm really experimenting to find the best I don't know the best combination for the backgrounds I'm trying to find my secret grandma recipe so first thing we need to cover this styrofoam with this silicone as you can see it is not completely flat styrofoam I use the torch to get some, some sort of texture and form, a bit different form, just to see how that will work out. That is the last drop. And I have another brand new. Let's see if this is enough. If you remember, now we need to smear. If you aren't familiar with this process, I made a more detailed video. So be sure to check it out if you want to see more details. Need to be sure that I covered every spot. Yeah, it looks like it. Now to remove this glove. And apparently the glove broke. Not cool. Okay, now next step. I have this, this bucket and I will put it inside and just get the substrate over the silicone. Now firmly press and I will immediately silicone it to the back of this enclosure. And then I will silicone the corners again and pour more substrate. So that way the back of the background will be completely sealed and nothing will be able to crawl behind. That's the general idea. Now let's take it out. You see it is already holding. It is definitely lacking the shape. Oh, I got it on the table. This will help. There, now see, we have gaps here and here and probably here. So that is why I will silicone the edges. And now more substrate. There, now to leave it for uh, around two days to dry out. And then we can carry on with setting up this enclosure. So, teleport. And we're back. This should be dry now. And also, I checked the recording on this camera and it seems like the focus is hunting a lot. You can see that it's working and that's not really that I prefer and also I noticed that image was overexposed at some point so everything is set manually now nothing will now change but I hope that everything will look all right on the display it seems like it but we will see on the computer let's get back to the business I will first pour this this excess substrate okay I think that it looks all right not the best 
I would prefer a bit more detail, but as background, it will serve its purpose. I need a, how is it called? Whatever to collect the substrate. This stuff, <laughs> mini broom and this. <laughs> This is how it looks. Now, I forgot cork bugs and branches. They are wet because I quickly rinsed it, but they like it moist, so it won't be a problem. For substrate, I will mix some peat moss together with some potting soil. Sorry. This is organic potting soil without any additional fertilizers or anything like that, so it is safe for animals. I have been using it before, but I stopped because in some of my enclosures, some of my moist enclosures, I had problems with that fungi, that yellow fungi that covers the substrate. And I was convinced that because of the potting soil, started to use plain cocoa fiber again. But still in some of my enclosures, I still keep seeing that fungi. So apparently, I mean, obviously it's not the potting soil. Therefore, I will give it another chance. Now we have a nice mixture and I will just dump it inside. Now I will break this cork bark in half and bunch of pieces because I don't want tubes. I want it to be kind of flat so that way it will be much easier to see the actual where are they? Uh, spiny assassin guys. Will it break? Come on! Hmm. I also want to put this branch inside, but there is not that much space, so I will also need to break it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I also want to put live plants inside. <laughs> this will go like here, and this somewhere here, so it will spread on the cocoa fiber. Cork bark. something like that and I will also put a potting soil around it. This is so messy job. This is just in the way. I would kind of prefer to have, to have a drainage layer for live plants. So in the next build I will make a drainage layer for some other enclosure of course. And we will see how this will hold more of this so now you see i want this plant to spread on the cork bark hopefully is there room for some more cork barks hmm. they need more space to hide and to mold like that i will also put one piece like that. So they have a lot of surface where, where they can hang and molt and also where they can just hang out. That should be fine. Maybe one more small piece. They will definitely benefit from more places to hide and hang. Definitely. And also what I hope to see, I hope that adults and bigger ones hang on this piece of cork bark so they are clearly visible. I just hope that they won't be hiding all the time now. I can also put some dry leaves inside just a second. Pretty good. Let's add the spiny guys. Oh yeah, and we need springtails, but there is a lot of springtails inside, so I'll just blow them inside. How we are going to approach this? Look at this springtail count. So just and we added a ton of springtails. And I can actually just take this. They aren't aggressive, but precaution. So let's go. There is one. There is two. There is three. There is four. Oh, the big guy went back. Is that five? I think the fifth ran down. Six, seven, eight. Is that all? Yeah, looks like it. On what count was I? 
I have no idea now. Did I set seven? Oh, there is a bunch of them inside this tube. You won't be able to see exactly how much, but you can see that everything is moving. So yeah, I will just give up on counting and just push them all. This one is bugging me. <laughs> bugging me. <laughs> I should just leave this tube inside, but no, I don't want them to be inside the tube. That's the point. No, no, don't go. Look at him. Look at him go. Come on, stop going on the tube. Go away. There's so many places you can go and you really want to go on this tube. Go away. Shoo, shoo. Just a few left. Why am I even bothering with this? They clearly aren't aggressive. Go, move, move. <laughs> Got him. And last one, there. Finally, are they all got? No, there is still one inside. He fell? No, he's here. <laughs> oh, there is still one inside. I can't believe. <laughs> is that it now? Like for real? Okay, it seems like it. And here. Just one roach and that's it. Just to make sure there isn't any in the substrate. It is clear. Okay, now where is everyone? <laughs> I need some tissue to wipe this all up. Oh, no water. This one is trying to escape. Sorry, but no can do. There we go. And what I've been thinking, I will maybe need to cover this, this ventilation with some mesh because once this plant grows, the babies will be able to climb the plant and it will probably reach this ventilation. So that means they will be able to go out of the ventilation. And that is not something that I would prefer. Currently, as you can see, it is not reaching, but if it continues to grow, it will most certainly reach it. This is the final look. Everything is wet and there is no a single assassin guy on site because they are all behind this. But I love this plant. I hope it will continue to grow. And this plant, I love everything. Oh yes, and I need to go through the substrate and look for eggs. Ugh. Or maybe I will just keep the substrate and one cork bark inside. And as babies are hatching, I will just be transferring them in this enclosure. That will also work and it will be much more easier. All right, we will let them be and get the feel of the enclosure. And once they start moving outside more often, I will be able to record them for some Wednesday's video. That will be awesome. Other than that, next project will be the other enclosure that I need for my other assassin guys. I never actually said later name for this one is Psitala Horida, spiny assassin bugs, what we call them guys here. And those up there are Platymeris species mambo. At least that's how they were labeled when I got them. Let me know how you like this new camera. I mean the footage from it. Is it better or you prefer the old GoPro footage? Let me know. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye! -bye.